Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to check to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Gemini. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past the shuffling. The links for my Spotify and Apple Music will be down there as well, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I do need at least two, three days uh, to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Uh, let's get started. Uh, remember, the energy could be vice versa, so if this is not you, this is them. This is going to be um, the person you always think about, how they feel about you. So, uh, the person Gemini always thinks about, how do they feel about Gemini? Gemini's partner, the person they always think about, how do they feel about Gemini? What are their feelings towards Gemini? The person that's always on Gemini's mind, uh, what is that person's feelings towards Gemini? Thank you. What is the feelings, uh, the person that Gemini always thinks about, what is their feelings for Gemini? Thank you. The person that Gemini always thinks about, what is their feelings for Gemini? Okay, thank you. Okay, can I get a clarifier for this Knight of Water, please? Thank you. Can I get a clarifier for this High Priestess, please? Okay. Thank you. Alright, let me look underneath the deck to find out what's going on. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take it from here. Let's talk. So, um, I have in the past energy things, um, with this person or situation. Things didn't, uh, turn out the way somebody hoped. I feel like this is more your energy. Things didn't turn out the way, um, that you hoped, um, and you were having trouble seeing the positive in the situation. Like, um, I feel like it was very horrible for you guys, like, uh, almost tragic, like, this was very intense, um, very intense toxic energy, um, I think you just wanted this person to turn around really bad, and, um, I feel like you waited a long time, and that's why all these other cups are spilled over, yeah, you just... You really wanted it to work out with this person, and um, you're having a hard time seeing the positive from the situation. So, like, I feel like there's so much toxicity and negativity with the situation that you're having a hard time pulling out um, the good things that this brought you closer to. And for a lot of you, I feel like it's your spiritual journey. Because um, this is a time of positive change. A situation is going to move forward for you. Um, this is good luck. So you're getting out of um, negativity and you're also getting out of a very hard situation. You were stubborn and stuck. You didn't want to move. You wait like, yeah, you like waited for this person to turn around. But um, while you waited for this person, you were missing opportunities. You were discontent. You were bored. Um, and it's time to open your eyes to the world around you. But I have you here. You're still weighing your pros and cons of this person. You're also working a lot to um, kind of like distract you, distract yourself from your emotions. Um, your intuition gets stronger um, from the pain that's being caused. Yeah, th it's like this helped you get set up for your spiritual journey. Um, you're being called to care for yourself. You're being called to care for yourself. Um... Yeah, a sudden event that takes place, um, I think maybe, this is, looks very, like, a 
like defensive, like the, like a fight or something, but he's kind of scared. Um, I think you're ready to, to leave this situation or this is your past energy. So, so I think you were ready to leave this situation, but um, you're very hesitant still. Um, but you need to know there's a lot going on behind your back with this person. This person does a lot of th things behind your back. And also the universe is arranging things for you so you can kind of, um, you know, they're trying to arrange your blessings and stuff. Um, but it's like you got to get out of this, this situation with this person. Um, so I have here um, recognition for very high quality work on uh, being seen as a team player. Um, yeah, see you're working a lot. You're very good at what you do. But also... Um, you know, this person looks at you like a team player, and that's why they keep coming back to you. They have another person, though. This is a third-party situation. It's like he has two people working on this relationship that he has with both of them, and he doesn't do anything. Um, that's what I get here. Um, yeah, this is definitely... Um, like, very selfish energy from this person. Like, there's a lot of things going on behind your back. Uh, very selfish energy. I think you find out about it, too, or just your intuition, just your gut feeling, your intuition is just telling you, like, you gotta go. Like, it's time to cut these cords, and I see you doing that. Um, truth is delivered without tact. I think this person, um, this person is kind of mean. Um, like, the way they talk to you, like, they don't have any respect for you. Um, when they say things, they don't, they don't care about your feelings, how it will affect you or your well-being. And, like, you're, you're just done with it. Like, this is, a this is very airy energy. You're, like, very, um, like, cutthroat swords. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I see a bunch of swords. Like, like, you're, you're done. Once you, once you find this out, this was, like, the turning point, like, for you. Um... Yeah, I, f I feel like uh, I feel like after this, you start to, you know, I, I feel like you start to try to reconnect with some friends. Um, I see drinking. Um, yeah, this is the emperor. You're being called to be the emperor, so you're being asked to have structure and discipline. I feel like it's very hard for you to walk away from this person. Um, yeah, this is like being addicted to a person, um, like very toxic energy. Um, Structure and discipline, leadership. Uh, you're being called to have um, a lot of discipline for yourself to keep moving forward. Um, yeah, communicate with vision, focus, focus, and be a leader. You're at, being asked to go your own way and to believe in yourself. Have confidence, the king of fire, to have confidence in yourself. Um, because this person keeps you um, trapped. This is, a, this is a false sense of entrapment. So you feel trapped when you deal with this person. Um... You feel trapped when you deal with this person um, being focused on material things. They may buy you a lot of gifts, um, but I feel like that's how they show their affection for you. But it's not really affection. It's like, it's like they don't like, it's not like they don't know how to be affectionate. I feel like with you, they buy you things, though, because they don't want to show you that. Like, it's kind of like a, a sugar daddy vibe I get. Um... Like, I just really don't like that energy. Like, it's like somebody's being used for money. The duck's coming to the money. Um, the angel's trying to get him to take off the mask to see um, to see what's going on in front of him. Like, he's being drawn to this duck. Um, just like, I don't really don't like this energy. But it's like an illusion. That's what this is. And it's an illusion that you're trapped, really. Um, yeah, it's an illusion that you're trapped, but you have a, a bunch of brilliant things coming to you if you would just take off the mask. And I think you do because you get a whole bunch of brilliant new ideas, inspirations. Um, you see the truth of a situation um, and you it's a challenging beginning for you, but you move, you move forward. You just happen to look back, but you continue to move forward. Um, and yeah, you're going to be enjoying life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone. This is successful self-employment. Um, this is also like investing in yourself. This is also a lots of self-love. And then, um, yeah, news of a new exciting endeavor using your originality, ingenuity. Some of you might be doing magic as well or getting um, lots of spiritual downloads. But I do see that um, once you get out of this stagnant energy with this person, this toxic situation, the cycle, once that ends completely, um, 
you're gonna be going on to a whole bunch of new things and I know this cycle is done with this person too because I saw I think I saw it like twice yeah um the emperor for me is the ending of a cycle and the starting of a new cycle um and then also so is no not that one where, where is it where is it it's somewhere oh and then so is the wheel that's for me this is the ending of a cycle um it's just hard to get out of this cycle for you guys because you're so drawn to this person even though they're really bad for you and um this is falling in love um, with yourself. Um, you start to um, realize how wonderful you are. And this is like self-love. Lots of self-love being being done, um, being done on you and for you. Um, this is the need to balance emotions. Uh, so I see you going up and down out of choppy water. But um, I do see you stabilizing up on top. Um, or at least when people look at you. Um, like somebody's gonna be looking at you, like this is probably the, your person looking at you, like you have unbalanced emotions, but it's like when they look at the outside, if they're looking at you from the outside, it looks like you're finally getting your shit together, you finally have your life together, it looks like you're in control, but on the inside is what I'm saying, it's, it's choppy water, you're up and down, you have your good days and your bad days, but, um, this person that you're dealing with, um, they look at you and they see like, okay, they're, they're moving on. They're, they're starting to, um, get over what I did to them. Um, and it makes them reminisce about, um, their relationship with you. Or you're reminiscing about them, but I do feel like this is you. I mean, I do feel like this is them. I feel like they're looking at you, um, glowing right now, um, healing from this. And I feel like, um... It, like, almost makes them mad that, you know, that you left them, even though they're the ones who fucked up. I truly feel that way. Um, so that's why they keep romanticizing the past with you. Or making, they may be trying to reach out to you, too, and um, trying to get you back. But you're going to be the high priestess, um, and you're going to be balancing this out, but you're going to be using your logic because you realized... Um, you realize the other option is just it, like it's not even love it's just attachment it's attachment and these toxic cords that wind around her and she's going to be picking um her logic and she's going to be taking the leap of faith and that's also what this other person sees from you they see you taking care of yourself or contemplating this situation um it's almost like they're watching you see right through them like like they see that you're not going to fall for it this time and that you're going to take the leap of faith away from them. Like, they definitely see you walking away from them for sure. They definitely see that. They see you healing and um, walking away. Like, you're not falling for it this time. Yeah, they see, um, it's like where this, I, I feel like there was no flowers here when this person was with this toxic person. And then once they got out of her life, um, all these flowers started to bloom around her. Um, this is, like, secret abundance. This is glowing. This is, um, like a regeneration, I feel like, um, where once was barren. Now all these flowers are, are coming up like magic. Um, and she planted these. She planted these. She has this beautiful, giant blue butterfly by her, um... Oh my god, yeah, these these beautiful butterflies that are just kind of surrounding her in this pink aura. Um, like, this is like healing energy. So she's healing, and she's healing, um, like, she's healing the, her insides as well as bringing abundance um, in other parts of her life. But yeah, because this person still has um, a third-party situation. So even if you went back to this person, it's going to be right back on the loop right back on the cycle it's gonna keep re keep repeating keep repeating you're gonna have um oh my god and that's why he wants you too that's why they want you back too this could be boy girl whatever um but that's why they want you back too because yeah that's why they want you back too because um you have all this abundance now you have all this self-confidence and stuff and like, this person's kind of sick. I can't even lie. This person's kind of sick. Because 
it's like they just want they just want you because you're healing and doing good without them and they want to bring you back they want to like re-break you to how you how it was before and because you're not ac accessible to them i really don't like that energy at all like this person's a sicko <laughs> but um i do have here um yeah this is great sadness taking the time to forgive um, forgive yourself and the situation, the person, um, that you're dealing with because you have so much abundance coming through and this person's looking at you, um, they look at you like, yes, you're healing and glowing and, and, um, they, they notice this. This is public recognition. This is public recognition and, um, healing. So they, they see that you are moving on without them. They see that it's not going to work this time. If they try to come back, it's not going to work. You're not having it. Um, like this, this was like the last time. I feel like you guys go back and forth, back and forth. But this is the last time. Um, like you're cutting cords. Um, you're cutting cords because you just feel this situation is done. This is the ending of a cycle with them. This is the, like, this is the end. Now it's time for you to get your power back and get your life back in order, which you are doing beautifully, beautifully, gracefully. Um, yeah, you're doing this so good. You're doing this with your head held up high. Um, yeah, they saw you as patient before. They thought you would always... Um, you would always let them come back and forth whenever they pleased. But um, now you're showing more of um, a fire defensive energy. Um, you're defending yourself. Um, and you're letting yourself heal. You're letting yourself heal. And also just because you forgive the person doesn't mean you need to have them back in your life. And I feel like that's what you're learning right now. Uh, forgiveness is more for you. So you can take the burdens off of your shoulders. What also is going to help you forgive is going back into the situation in your mind and thinking about all the good things this horrible situation has pushed you to, whether it was finding more about yourself, finding about how you want to be loved, finding um, new hobbies, new friends, new, new destinations, new jobs, whatever this was, this gave you some blessings, some type of blessing that um, will help you kind of make light of your situation. For a lot of you, it's a spiritual journey, though. It's a gift. This person kind of hurt you so bad that it woke up your gifts. Um, but, yes, this other person, though, they, they see that they fucked up. They see that you are glowing and that you're, you're healing and moving on without them. And they know that they really did fuck up this time, that you're not coming back. Um, I really like that energy. It's like really good <laughs> I like it a lot so yeah you just keep healing Gemini you keep doing your thing and um yeah keep shining and and glowing and healing all right I'll catch you guys for the ending of March I think I'm gonna be doing those videos next week um all right bye